Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use the motion tracking feature in VSCC Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to use the motion tracking feature in VSCC Pro. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And the first thing which we need to do is we need to right click on our video and then we need to click on this option which is create movement map. Now the moment you click on create movement map this save as dialog will open up. So right here you need to write the name of your movement map project file. So let's say the name of my movement map project file is motion track subject. And now click on the save button. Now once you click on the save button this motion tracker window will open up and what we are going to do in this motion tracker window is we will select a point in our video which we would like to track. So let's say I would like to track the year of my subject in this particular video. So accordingly let me just place my selection box on top of the year of my subject like this and now click on the start analysis button which is present right here. So we need to wait for the analysis to complete and only after that we can move on to the next step. Perfect. So our analysis is now complete. So now you need to click on this apply editing button which is present right here. So the moment you click on the apply editing button this warning will appear. So simply click on the yes button. Alright. Now next what I would like to do is I would like to highlight the year of my subject. So I will do that with the help of a rectangle object. So go to add object, select rectangle and now click on OK. Now create a rectangle on top of the year of the subject and now look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window. I would like to change the color inside my rectangle. So currently the color inside my rectangle is white. So right here is the color option. So let me just change the color inside my rectangle from white to let's say this particular color and now click on the OK button. I would also like to decrease the opacity of my rectangle. So right here you will find the more tools option and if you click on that you will find the opacity option which is currently set to 100%. So decrease the opacity of the rectangle from 100 to somewhere around 40%. Perfect. And now I would also like to add a border around my rectangle. So as you can see this color option contains the color black. So click on this three dots and change the color from black to let's say yellow and now click on OK. Now increase the thickness of the border from one to let's say 20 and then press enter on the keyboard. Perfect. Now next what you need to do is you need to double click on the rectangle object and now we will add the movement movement file which we created earlier. So go to add object, go to movement, select movement map and right here you will find the movement map file which you had created earlier. As you can see the name is motion track subject. So select this and then click on the OK button. And that's it. And so now if I just 
quickly play this entire video for you. As you can see, my rectangle is moving with the movement of the year of my subject. Perfect. Let me just quickly show you the result in the preview window as well. Perfect. So this is how you can use the motion tracking feature in VSCC Pro version. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.